हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक आई एम अक्षी जाधव लेक्चर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग टूडे आई एम बैक अगेन विथ वन मोर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सब्जेक्ट दैट इज मैकेनिकल एस्टिमेशन एंड कॉस्टिंग इन टूडेज लेक्चर आई एम टू अनफोल्ड सम ऑफ द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट कंटेंट ऑफ द सब्जेक्ट लाइक वॉट इज मीन बाय एस्टिमेशन एंड कॉस्टिंग एंड वॉट आर द मेजर डिफरेंसेज बिटवीन एस्टिमेशन एंड कॉस्टिंग सो लेट एस बिगिन विथ टेकिंग सम ऑफ द एग्जाम्पल वेन अ पर्सन प्लान टू बिल्ड इज ड्रीम हाउस ही विजिट सिविल इंजीनियर सो वेन ही विजिट सिविल इंजीनियर ही कन्वे हिज आइडिया टू हिम एंड अकॉर्डिंग टू द आइडिया सिविल इंजीनियर प्रिपेयर अ कंस्ट्रक्शन प्लान अलॉन्ग विद दैट ही विल कम अप विथ अ प्रोबेबल कॉस्ट और अप्रोक्सिमेट कॉस्ट ऑफ द प्रोजेक्ट दैट इज द कॉस्ट विच इज लाइकली टू बी इनकर ड्यूरिंग द कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ द बिल्डिंग नाउ द सेम प्राइस ही विल कन्वे टू दिम पर्सन एंड द पर्सन विल नाउ डिसाइड whether he should go with the work or not if it is in his budget then definitely he will go with the design otherwise he will ask the civil engineer to redesign the thing and bring everything into the budget now during the process of finding this probable cost or approximate cost of the building the civil engineer has considered many parameters like what is the material required what are the labors required and what will be the labor cost and other expenses and ultimately he will come up with a probable cost or approximate cost of the building or project this process what he has followed while finding this probable cost is what estimation and whatever the cost he has found out is called as what estimated cost take one more example when we plan to organize any function at home definitely we do some estimation before the actual function we find probable cost or approximate cost of the function say marriage function during this marriage function or before the marriage function we uh, find this approximate cost or probable cost by taking into consideration some of the parameters like the cost of jewelry the rent to be paid to a function hall next food next clothings and many more and we will come up with a probable cost this process what we are following to obtain a probable cost or approximate cost is called as what estimation take one more example i have given two examples similarly in mechanical industries before starting any component or manufacturing of any article or any process the estimation is carried out this estimation is very important to determine whether a project or an article is profitable or no for example if you want to uh, begin with the production of nut and bolts in your firm in this case the company owner first asks the design department to produce a design according to the design now the estimation and costing department estimation department now produces a estimated cost this is a probable cost which is and which is likely to incur during the manufacturing of the nut and bolts say now the estimated department estimation department has estimated a cost of rupees 12 this is a cost of one nut and bolt now if the same nut and bolt with same dimensions and same quality is already available in the market at a rate of 10 then definitely in this situation you are not going to fetch any of the customer because your estimated cost is 12 so in this situation now the owner will ask the design department again to redesign the things if it is possible to redesign then the design department will redesign and ultimately now the estimation department will try to find out the cost which is less than 10 if it is not possible then definitely the idea will be skipped otherwise if they continue with the same idea then definitely they will put it put themselves into a huge loss this that's why estimation accurate estimation is very very important to determine whether a particular article or whether the particular project is profitable or no for that in every industry there is a separate estimation department where highly qualified highly trained professionals and experienced staff is present to do this accurate estimation if these things are not there means if the experience is not there if they are not well qualified then definitely the estimation may go wrong and it may become an underestimation or overestimation to explain this take an example if you decide to paint your house then definitely you will visit one or 
टू पेंटर्स और मोर देन टू सो दैट यू विल गेट अफोर्डेबल डील फॉर यूर वर्क अज्यूम दैट यू आर विजिटिंग थ्री पेंटर्स ए बी एंड सी एंड बिफोर विजिटिंग डेफिनेटली विल डू द मार्केट सर्वे एंड फ्रॉम द मार्केट सर्वे विल कम टू नो दैट द कॉस्ट शुड नॉट गो बियॉन्ड वन लाख फिफ्टी थाउजेंड और कॉस्ट शुड बी नियर टू वन लाख फिफ्टी थाउजेंड नेक्स्ट वेन यू विजिट पर्सन ए ही इज अ फर्स्ट पेंटर हु कैन गेट द वर्क डन फॉर यू ही विल से दैट आई कैन डू द वर्क एट अ कॉस्ट ऑफ वन लाख फोर्टी फाइव थाउजेंड यू विल बी हैप्पी वेन यू विजिट पर्सन ए बिकॉज ही इज गिविंग यू द एक्यूरेट एस्टिमेशन यू नो द मार्केट वैल्यू एज वन लाख फिफ्टी थाउजेंड मीन्स ही इज गिविंग यू द एक्यूरेट एस्टिमेशन Now, when you visit person B or painter B, he will say that he will get the work done at a cost of one lakh rupees. As a customer, you will be very very happy to go with person B. Now, when you visit person C, he will say that I can do a cost of two lakh rupees. Definitely, you are not going to give any sort of work to person C. Why? Because he is almost giving you the uh, project cost fifty thousand more than the. market value this is called as what overestimation where definitely this person is not going to get the work definitely will go with now person b as i told you will be you are the customer so you are tend to save your money so when you give, go with painter b you will give 1 lakh rupees to him at the beginning of the work and definitely now the work will start and it will it may take some days to complete the work after completion of the work Painter, we will come to know that he has taken fifty thousand less amount from you. This is because of the poor estimation of painter B. Because of this inexperience and poor estimation, he put himself into the loss, and this is called as what underestimation. Both underestimation and overestimation are very dangerous. Overestimation will never give you any sort of contract, and underestimation will put you under huge amount of loss these things happens in every industry when government tenders comes out many industries will be in the queue will be in the race to get that contract now some industries will overestimate the value and in such a situation they will not get any sort of contract any of the industry even if they underestimate and if they get the contract they will put themselves into the loss that's why accurate estimation is very very essential in industrial Field, which will definitely tell you whether a particular project or article will be profitable or no. Now, next move to the concept of costing. Now, what is the costing? We have seen estimation is a art or it's a process of finding the probable cost or it is an approximate cost of the product or any project before it is actually manufactured or it is actually start. Now, what is costing? Costing is a process of finding the actual cost of the project after the work is finished or after the uh, manufacturing has been done now take the same example of that civil engineering now when the civil engineer starts to construct the home definitely after a span of maybe one year or two year he will finish it of the work at the beginning he might have told you that the work will be finished at a cost of 25 lakhs but after the finishing of the work the cost has gone up to 30 Likes this is a difference because of the poor estimation of the for civil engineer. This five lakh difference is because of that inexperience. Now, how you will obtain this cost of thirty thirty lakhs? That is when you add all the bills. Definitely during the process, during the construction, when you uh, take all the bills from different different firms from where you are purchasing the materials and other things, they will give the bills. now when you add all the bills you are going to get the actual cost of the project or actual cost of the building and that process of finding the actual cost of the building is called or actual cost of any project or actual cost of any material or actual cost of any article is called as what costing so remember that a major difference between estimation and costing is estimation is carried out before the actual manufacturing of any object whereas a uh, costing is done after the completion of the work now we will see the major differences between estimation and costing so this this may be the question in your examination differentiate estimation and costing 
very important four points you should write. The first point you should write in estimation. So I'll make two columns here. One in estimation, another is costing. So in the first column you should write estimation. It's a process of or it's an art of finding the finding the probable cost. Probable means approximate approximate cost of the article before it is actually manufactured so here in costing you will write it is a process of finding the actual cost of the component or any project or any process next estimation is carried out before before the manufacturing or any sort of project or any process whereas costing is uh, whereas costing is the process which is carried out after the completion of the work or you can say after the manufacturing next this estimation may go wrong i told you if the estimator is not well qualified he, if he has a uh, poor experience in estimation then definitely estimation may go wrong and it may be an underestimation or overestimation next uh, this costing will never go wrong because never go wrong because it is just a addition of some bills right so bills are there in front of you by using calculators when you add these bills you are going to get the actual cost that's why costing will never go wrong whereas in estimation you have to predict it some things right now next is uh, that is estimation may go wrong and uh, costing will never go wrong to do estimation highly uh, skilled labors are required or high yes highly skilled people are required people are required who have uh, well trained professionals who are well trained professionals and who have some sort of experience in the estimation whereas during the costing any person who have account knowledge any person who have who has account knowledge knowledge can do the question so these are the very important four major differences between estimation and costing both are very very important to determine what profit profit can be determined here in estimation before the actual uh, production of the component next in costing how the profit is determined see once if you get total cost uh, in that maybe 10% 25% or 30% profit will be get added and you will get the selling price of the component so this is our these are the major differences between estimation and costing see Uh, in our next videos we will focus mainly on mechanical estimation so we are uh, not we will not talk about civil estimations like estimation of dams or estimation of canals or estimation of buildings we will uh, focus mainly on estimation of nut and bolt that is the cost or the probable cost or the approximate cost required for the production of nut and bolts uh, the estimation of rivets the estimation of flywheel next the estimation of uh, Uh, this crankshaft and many more also we will estimate some of the um, uh, welding uh, methods and estimation of some of the foundry methods for example in welding methods we will estimate what is the amount of oxygen is required what is the amount of acetylene is required what is the amount of filler rod is required and we'll come to know what to uh, approximate cost or the probable cost of the welding process before it is actual welding is carried out and in foundry also same along with that in mechanical estimation we study about the estimation of time that a particular process takes how much of time to complete itself that is for example if a component has turning process knurling process threading boring tapping process in it drilling process in it so every process requires what time so we'll add all those times and we will get total time required to complete a particular job so that we can obtain labor cost see in mechanical estimation uh, while estimating a particular thing we will focus more on materials labors and expenses when we will add all these three we will get the 
probable cost or the approximate cost of the product or any article before it is actually manufactured. So we will meet into our next lecture. Thank you.